Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is for amd integrated graphic card or dedicated graphic card user you can go to amd website now once you go to amd website you can use auto detect feature so you can use this auto detect feature you can download this and then it will find if there is any update and once the update is complete restart your computer and then check now if you if you have intel integrated graphic card in that case you can use intel driver and support assistant and then go to the website click on download and then you can download that file and then you can run intel driver support assistant once you launch it you will see if there is any update here you can see there is update for graphic card so you can click on download all install all and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card disable one of the graphic card driver in device manager now for this you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager expand display adapter now in my case here you can see this is the intel integrated graphic card you can make a right click and then click on disable device and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even disable your dedicated graphic card you can make a right click disable it launch the game you can enable this intel one you have to enable it and then you can disable this and then you can check check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder this is the location in my case you can select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game and then over here select high performance nvidia or amd graphic card select high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try intel so check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to install all these extensions from microsoft store so all the links are provided in the video description open these links in a browser and here you can see vp9 click on install it will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. In my case, it is already installed. So if you see install option, hit install and then download this AV1. And then again, click on install, open Microsoft Store and then install it. And install this web media extension. Open it and then click on install. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store, open Microsoft Store, click on install and install this HEVC file. So once you copy this link, open this link in a browser. Now here you can see HVVC video extension. You can click on install, open Microsoft Store and then install it once the installation is complete. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is for AMD Redon. If you have integrated graphic card, in that case, you can type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. And over here, click on environment variables. Over here, you can see system variables. Click on new over here. And then over here, you can type in the variable name that is disable underscore layer underscore AMD underscore switchable graphics underscore one. And then you can paste it over here. 
and for variable value you can type in the number one and then click on OK and then again click on OK. Now in future if you don't want this you can always select this and you can delete it if you don't want this. So once you do this click on OK, OK and then you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you. Next step is to rename blue archive folder uh, in this location. Now before you do this create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch. Now for this open file explorer go to this PC open C drive now open users folder. Now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open local low folder. Now over here you can see next on games folder open this folder and you can rename this blue archive. So before you rename it copy this folder you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have backup created now you can make a right click on this folder and then you can rename it whatever you want. Now once you rename it now you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch. You will lose all the game progress but you already have a backup. So next step is to try these in launch options. So you can go to Steam make a right click on the game and in the launch option you can type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash DX12 launch the game and then check still not working you can type in dash W I N D O W E window. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this you can go to Steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files. Instead of launching the game from Steam you can make a double click launch the game from here. Now it's still not working make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on OK launch the game and then check still not working put a check over here select Windows 8 hit apply click on OK launch the game still not working you can even try Windows 7 over here hit apply click on OK launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on OK launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply and then click on OK and follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game file. So go to Steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you are using any kind of third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app click on browser apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added now type in control panel in Windows search box go to control panel and then go to system and security Windows Defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open click on add in my case the game is already added. So once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual C++ file. Now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64. So download both the files and then you can run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option click on repair. If you see the install button hit install. Now download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Again if you see the repair option click on repair. If you see the install option hit install and then click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once installed then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. 
and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you are the devices which you are not using so if you have otas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disable steam overlay you can just make a right click on the game select properties and you can disable this steam overlay if this is on you can turn this off and then check if this is already off you can turn it on and then check check which one is working fine for you also if you have any other overlay application running like discord running you can turn off overlay in discord settings go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay now close all the overlay application and then launch the game also do not overclock so if you have overclocked set it to default and then close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it also if you have any kind of third party services or application running close it also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update your bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios La last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive 
try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.